Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Keisha. If you're new here and this is your first time seeing my face, then welcome to the Adams Family. So happy to have you here. And if you are one of my lovely subscribers coming back for another video, then boys and girls, how you doing? A little bit about me, I love, 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 love oils. And oils are amazing things for your skin. No matter what skin types you have, whether it's dry, normal, combination, oily, everybody can benefit from oils. It just depends on which oils you use and how you use them. I recently debuted my DIY vitamin E oil and got loads of comments asking how to create it. So today I'm going to be creating this for you guys right here. I've been trying this out for a little over a month now to just make sure I like the combination. My DIY vitamin E oil is finally ready to make its internet debut. If you guys want to see how to make this super simple, super easy vitamin E oil, then just keep on watching. But first, before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to go ahead and click that button. And without further ado, let's get into it. This oil only has three ingredients. Let's get to the rundown. The star of the show, of course, is vitamin E oil, and this is an amazing oil that helps to block free radical damage. This is a fancy way of saying it helps to fight aging. If we fight off these free radicals, then we can reduce wrinkles and keep the skin looking young and gorgeous. Now this, of course, is a great oil to use by itself, but you can use it in a bunch of DIYs because it is a natural preservative, hence preserving your youthful appearance. Not only is it great for wrinkles, Wrinkles, but it's also great for minimizing skin discolorations. So that includes age spots, sunspots, as well as even acne scars. Little by little, you'll be lightening and brightening your skin. Now, you don't need a lot of vitamin E, so if you don't have the full bottle itself, you can always go ahead and use the little vitamin E capsules. If you're making about this side, about four capsules of vitamin E oil should suffice. The next is one of my favorite ingredients. It is grapeseed oil. Now, this is a very light oil that has great moisturizing properties. It's full of antioxidants, it has anti-inflammatory properties, it's high in linoleic acid, as well as it's a natural astringent for the skin. Now this is one of my favorite oils because it also treats, heals, and prevents acne. It helps to minimize the appearance of pores, fade your under eye dark circles, as well as it's an all around great moisturizer for the skin. What I really love about this oil is the fact that it is such a light oil. It's not gonna make you feel heavy or weighed down, and because it has those smaller molecules, it easily absorbs into the skin. The last oil, of course, is one of my favorite oils to use whenever I'm doing anything, any DIY for my face. It's a hope oil. This is a very light oil that is the closest replicate of the natural sebum that your skin produces. So it won't leave you feeling greasy, sticky, or oily. It's antibacterial, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory, so it's also great for acne on your skin. Now these three oils put together are amazing for a number of skin issues, including what I mentioned, aging, acne, discoloration. It is by far one of my favorite oils to put on my face. And what I love about it the most is that you can use it for any skin type. Now this will not clog your pores, it won't leave you feeling oily, but it will moisturize the amount that you need. Because it closely resembles the sebum that our skin naturally produces, all you oily ladies and gentlemen don't have to worry about this feeling heavy or clogging your pores. I definitely recommend everyone giving this oil a try. You don't need a lot of ingredients or any fancy essential oils. Just the basic three oils is all you need. Keep it simple, keep it clean. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to be updated on new videos every single week. It's free, it's zero calories, and it's sure to bring a smile to your face. Comment down below and tell me if you've ever tried making a DIY vitamin E serum. I'd love to know what ingredients you put into it. So girl, what you staring at? Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. Stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye. <laughs>